Alright, how's it going? Kicking off the stream for today. Uh, not in Teamspeak yet, not in Surrey yet, just better jump into both. Uh, we got the DRMs back at Le Mans, this time with a chicane, so it's a bit different from last week. Um, should be fun. I'm not super, super comfortable in the car, but that's just how these cars are. I don't think I can ever get to the point where I do feel that way. Um, but yeah, we'll jump in, we'll get started in practice for about 30 minutes, qualifying for about another 30. Uh, and then we got a 75 minute race with one pit stop. So we'll get started here. Connected. Channel switched. Hey guys. Hello. Hello, Thomas. Hello. Hi. Alright, we'll load into the server here. Yeah, no, a, this is gonna be a clumsy race for me without him. A practice. wicked thunderstorm just kicked up over here. Oh, wow. Just completely out of nowhere 15 Did minutes ago. It was still pretty sunny, oh, and then I started hearing some thunder, and now it's just sort of pouring it down. You might even be able to hear in the background there on the windows. Uh, so, if, so if the stream suddenly cuts, then uh, we've lost power. <laughs> okay, though, he but didn't drive the I'm not really expecting that. The formation lap, so. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Yeah, I'm back at it with the uh, with the eight shifter. I'm gonna be doing some heel and toe and swap with some right foot braking, Speaking so that'd be fun. There he is, the man with the match. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Oh. This does not. Hey. You, you and Giuseppe are are, are doing evil things. <laughs> I never do. Oh, you never do nothing. Perfectly innocent. Are you guys running already? Uh, kinda. I'm gonna need your help again because I didn't practice. Oh. <laughs> Although I do have your uh, setup, so that that's a start. But I have no idea on fuel. Uh, me too. Oh, that. I'm okay. Up. okay. <laughs> it's just a hundred liters each time I stop. Uh, how long is the race actually? Uh, 17 minutes, 70, 90 minutes? 75. 75. Five, okay. Since this is Tarek's last day as a staff member, uh, the golden rule doesn't apply if he's around, so if you want to take him out, go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, what's this talk about? Is it true? Yeah, but I mean, yep. it's okay. No, it's... I'm at a point in my life right now where I've got a lot of time to dedicate to this, and it does take a lot of time. And, you know, uh, when he decided to come on, you know, it just... He was going to help out as long as he could. And he, and he did. But I'll miss That's him the behind the scene, because he's been hilarious behind the scene. You guys have no idea. Show us how fast their Porsche is. Hot tires is a tires nearly undrivable. Undrivable <laughs> on cold tires. Wait, so we are running with no chicane. Okay, well someone could have told me. Someone could have told me that. Because the practice server, the, the actual practice server made by RD, had the chicanes in it. So I just did like 40 something minutes of practice with the chicanes in and I made a new setup for it and then someone in the thread asked are we having chicanes or not nobody said anything and here we are in the official server it's got no chicanes yeah. 
So I, that's fine, I'll just switch One. settings back because that's, that's okay. Not even gonna bother to finish that lap. But don't mess things up. Yeah, doing outlaps in this car is just absolutely the worst. Yeah. Um, an hour. Uh, be half an hour qualifying. Because you got cold tires and cold brakes, so it just feels like you're driving a big blob you, of nothing. Like it doesn't respond to any minutes. inputs. Because you're making coffee yeah, right now, aren't you? You're making coffee, aren't you? I have to do it, yeah. <laughs> otherwise I'll fall asleep. Dark is die hard and a true Porsche nut. He's up at 3 a.m. to do this with us. Wow. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Dark, for doing that. How can you not do that? Of course you have to. Bring up Porsche. Anyone has noticed that this version of the truck, uh, at the end of the Porsche corners, there is still the original bug that uh, gives you a truck cut, uh, even if you are near slightly out with the right tires. Yeah, you can't run over that curve there, I think, on the outside. Before that, uh, the issue has been fixed. Now it's it's back, I think. Yeah, the problem with the formation at the race is that we're going to lose like half an hour. <laughs> uh, I would do the formation lap, guys, because on cold tires. Barely, barely try to walk. At least yeah. we could like figure out that we don't have to do like a full lap to stop the race thing. Just like get your at the most important uh, we at will the end go of the first straight maybe or something. We will go much more uh, with much more relative distance otherwise we too Sick. much near each other and uh, low grip. And no brakes. A lot yeah. of power and yeah, no brakes. And truck suspension. I just got overtaken by a Porsche at 300k or whatever plus <laughs> down the straight, of the game. and I got sucked into it. I got sucked into the car as it came past me. This thing's oscillating so much. Yeah, I gotta refine that brake myself. Four is seven. Four is seven. Four is seven. I guess yes, yeah, so just the actual, actual sponsor. Yeah. The real, from the real circuit, so. Updated sponsors. Man, I really wish they would just change the circuit on us like this. Are we doing yeah. a normal start uh, in this event, or are we doing the rolling start? Well, I mean, um, originally the plan was to do a road or a standing start, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, look, we'll hit a boat, guys, so is there anyone opposed to the idea of a rolling start? I'll just put that out first, so, or mm -hmm. would you guys like, would you like a rolling start? Yeah, Mike? Absolutely. I like, I like Absolutely. the idea of the rolling start. All right. Okay. So, I think yeah. Overall, it will be uh, better. The, the better way with these cars is you know, the tires and the brakes. So. Um, well, in the original year end series, uh, they did both down. Okay. down one of these engines with the large turbo. Charge. That ought to be good. So you basically stand still in the grid, and if you can't move, you can cut off the grid if you 
Right. We'll just screw up your start, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are gonna say go, 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 go. First race. You remember that first race at Riverside? Um, there yeah. was one car on the grid which uh, completely skipped up the start. And uh, yeah. once you have uh, your, your engine up here and down, you cannot spool up the turbos anymore. You just sit there. You cannot do anything. Yeah. Grab that start. And uh, guess why I know that so well? Well, that one single car on the grid standing behind him. <laughs> Sorry, you were, the, you were the car behind him. Was it for you? No. I he was, he was, he was car. Car. that guy. Oh, you were the car. Oh. I think I was uh, qualified in, in third or fourth place, and the entire grid behind me <laughs> basically running <laughs> over me. <laughs> and it hurt him. It, 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 it helped me at loads. It's probably because of the weight at the back of the dirt. You know, I mean, the Porsche doesn't need more traction with the turbo lag, so yeah personally I prefer stand up start because I feel like I'm one of the few people who's actually pretty decent at getting these cars up with a standing start so that's like my one strong point gone additionally the only other time we tried a rolling start was an absolute catastrophe and that's just like way too many variables we have to freeform it and there's no like actual lights out thing we just have to follow someone but I don't know whatever we'll, we'll roll with it see what happens and I, I didn't say anything because I know no one's going to listen. Because we, we've done this before, the stuff to unofficial votes like that, and I say my suggestion, someone goes, oh yeah, that's cool, and then just no one listens to it, it's whatever. I just drive. Park said it about 20, so it's... Okay. They drove 21, 22 laps in the end. Hey Dirk, you don't like football, do you? Uh, soccer is boring. I stopped uh, playing football so when I was about uh, Then I moved Sorry? on to proper sports. Because Jeremy just... Just been eliminated. From the World Cup. Uh, it doesn't matter. I never watched football or something like that. My whole life, no. It's the most corrupt sport on the planet. Yeah, it's, it's the sport of little princesses. Ah, 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 he hit me, ah, ah. <laughs> I've got a buddy that posted a... It was a little video, real short, but... One of them is, the first one is a hockey player sitting on the bench next, you know, right next to the ice, and a, he's, he's looking to his left, and the puck comes in from the right and hits him in the jaw. So he just kind of winces just a little bit, reaches up. What was that like, Spike? Still is going to come out or not, and then takes it off, you know, <laughs> no big deal. The next one is a guy standing over in the corner waiting for the ball, you know, to throw it out. And somebody throws it when he's not looking, hits him in the uh, stomach, and he stumbles over like he's been killed. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's so much freaking drama. <laughs> it's pretty realistic. It's exactly how it's happening. Oh, it is. The breaking points without practicing is way too fun. Sounds like a bad idea. Regarding your leaving the show and stuff, uh, I can only say forever be. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Do you like that porno? Yeah, I mean, 
I'll just I'll just remind you, I do have the powers until tomorrow evening. I can get you back. <laughs> and uh, I'm very good at it. I'm very good at it, so yeah. <laughs> well, don't forget, he was the ambassador before he was staff, so he's always had a little bit of a special standing in play. So I rely on him heavily for information. I know one or two people dropped out towards the end, but I'm still expecting one or two more to join. But I think we're still down a few guys. No, I'll still yeah. be racing. I'll still be racing. It's not as if I'm going away and that's it. You won't hear from me again. I'll still be racing. Um, but it'd just be like before. You know, before I was staff, so... Uh, you know, I won't be as active racing. But I will definitely be racing. You know, maybe uh, one race or two races a week and as so, before, so... Right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, you're so becoming still... human again, right? Well, I was always human. I was always human. <laughs> oh, you're an I... alien, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, well, I just don't understand the brakes on this thing. I feel so inconsistent. Very good. Did you guys, any of you see the R Factor 2 stream from yesterday? Uh, oh. So, there was like... Uh, there was, what, 20 of us racing, and the guy qualified on the pole, I think qualified by 7 tenths faster than the guy in second. And you want the rest of us... Ronnie, do you want an alien? Ronnie Who? has done this course in the 95 in 3.39. Wow, okay, that's, yeah, that's very, very fast. <laughs> <laughs> in, in a what? A 9.35. He did it how fast? 3.39. That's quick. Yeah, yeah, I pulled over yeah. from that. That, uh, wow. Dirt, your setup sucks. <laughs> no! <laughs> Lap two, loan engine. Well, I mean, I'm only 17 seconds off his pace. No, I just, man, I just can't drive the car. Because you're not in a Ferrari, you know. I tried driving a Ferrari. I tried driving a Ferrari. I can't drive a Ferrari either. It doesn't matter. These cars are just fun to drive. Oh, come on. I mean, that wasn't, that wasn't actually a good lap anyway. Oh, stop. So God damn it, stop. Yeah, don't worry. I mean, we'll we'll definitely, I think, uh, go for the rolling start. So uh, there's, I think, a long wait time for qualifying, about five minutes. So um, we can coordinate it then. So we'll probably do it the way you used to do it, Giuseppe, with the multi-class races. So basically, uh, we all kind of cruise around, and then the idea simply would be. When the the, uh, the guy on pole crosses the finish line, to start lap two, I guess, uh, shouts green flag, and then everyone pushes basically. So, um, but yeah, we'll see about coordinating it a little bit. Uh, shouldn't be too hard, so don't need to worry about it. But it'll be much a much safer way to start the race. I think. Oh, this is just amazing. Got the skin uh, of, of the car with Brian Redman. Is that the one with the German flag on the bonnet, sort of? Kind of? Uh, was... The, the John Fitzpatrick uh, with the large sucks. What, what's your brake bias? Uh, 49. I suggest everybody does a bit of drafting down the straight. These things are so wobbly. Yeah, how, how do we... Do we Stiff ARBs. Stiff in the ARBs, it does... And the dampers, it does help. They're going to wobble anyway, but it does help. 
just a little bit. Okay, so Tariq, do you want do you want to pass me your ancient setup, man? Um, yeah, well, um, well, I just did some changes now, but I did my fastest lap with uh, default spring rates and roll bars, but I had uh, my downforce was minimum settings one and one. Uh, I can my gearing. My sixth gear or fifth, sorry, reached 349 APH, I think. Uh, what about the final oh, yeah. ratio? Are you using 1025 or 5, 5 ratio? Uh, I can't remember, honestly, uh, Lewis, but if, say, like you only ever have two settings for the gears, right? For each gear, you have a low setting or a box setting. So. Oh, it's okay. Your your last gear is a 349. Right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So yeah, and cool. then so it's 349, and then I think it's 290 for fourth gear, and then third is 244. Second is 190, early one something 190 something, and my first gear is 152 ABH. How about the tire pressure for endurance? Uh, well, actually, I actually haven't done any runs on the insurance tires, so. But I'm, I'm using my medium pressures, which is 25 front left, 26 front right, uh, 23 rear left, and 24 rear right. Yeah, um, Yeah, how about the dumpers? other default at the moment, so. Suspension Coming as well, right? Yep. Did you get first, Thomas? <laughs> yep. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> I'm gonna use my... Yeah, I'm gonna try to not so, do that. Did you say a full tank uh, does what? How many laps? Well, I, I was burning on average seven liters per lap, so um, so if we're doing twenty laps, we'll need a total of hundred and forty liters. So I don't unless think... you go with the hundred percent boost in places, then you're gonna really start using a lot of fuel. So you yeah, gotta plan true. for that. And I don't know how to plan for that, so I'm going to just run 160. If I'm not going to run out of gas. Tark last night when we finished the race, mm -hmm. Thomas was behind me. He had been in a duel the last, I don't know, five or six laps. But anyway, so I had like a two and a half second gap on him. And when I crossed the line for the last lap, mm -hmm. I had 5.8 liters of fuel left, and it was taking me six liters at least every lap. Now I'm oh. short shifting by 1,000, 1,500 RPM, six gear, I'm lifting, you know, and I'm <laughs> trying to manage that gap. And then Thomas got like within a second of me when we went into the Porsche curves and stuff, and I'm like, okay, got to go. So I did, and I crossed the line. I had one liter left. I pull over, you know, I get ready to dump it to do a, donuts and I made it through half a donut and it ran out of gas. <laughs> oh, man. That's the closest That's I've it. ever cut any of this crap. <laughs> I don't like cutting it that close. I'm scared to death. Yeah, it's, it's always uh, it's always scary when you're facing you know, situations like that. Well, it's embarrassing sort of because the only thing you can do is tell <laughs> my bad. Idiot. <laughs> I think we've all done that at least once where, you know, it's like, okay, I need 35.4 liters, I'll put in 36. You know, it's a little bit extra, like 0.6 of a liter extra yeah. to the race, and then you come up to the last corner, and it's like, oof, it's gone. It's, not, it's like crap. So we've all done it. I've done it at least. Well, I had planned, I had figured it out earlier in the week for Kevin, 
at 105 liters. Thank you. And I said, I think that'll be safe. And, uh, and so that's what I was making on at the end last night. I thought, you know what? Put an extra two liters in it. What's it going to hurt? Because I thought 105 was saved by a couple of liters. Mm -hmm. And I didn't do my usual screw-ups where I went out in the gravel traps and used more fuel to get back on the track or spin it out. Uh, although I did get whacked at the back. Because of the uh, series, like with the wind setting. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah, so if you get like that northern, I think if you get a northern wind, um, that's a headwind down the Mulsanne Strait. So yeah. basically, it takes you a little bit longer to get down the strait, so you're burning a little bit more fuel per lap. So yeah, it's, it's, it's tricky, but I think it's, yeah, can be annoying that way if you have a good strong headwind. I know that we have a headwind today. It's guaranteed we're going to have some sort of headwind for the uh, for the race today. So, how much? Don't know yet. It's between 11 and 17 kilometers an hour. So. Oh, it's, it's, so it's the heavy wind that's making the car wobble. Uh, I don't know if it will affect making the car wobble. We'll definitely slow it down. No, so, uh, it's, it's you know the. Cool. Elvis, you can you can join. You just need to make sure you need to uh, sign up. Yeah, I think uh, I just yeah, I just saw the post. Now. Okay. Race there. Yeah. So, yep. You go ahead, Elvis. Join away. Try to in the house. Yes. What kind of speed are those Lanciers pulling down the straight? About 25 kilometers per hour. Mate, with a headwind today, it might be limited to 21. <laughs> I still can't believe the Capri listed in the same class as the, as the Porsche. Yeah. yeah, it's not right. Really. On other tracks, oh. it might work out okay, but like here, no way. Yeah, I think in 1980, 81, they won Brands Hatch and uh, Watkins Glen, more tight and high down four circuits. But yeah. here, there's no chance for them. Mm -mm. It's BMW, Porsche, and, and Ferrari. Yeah, absolutely. And it serves them right. The, the Capri uh, drivers, because the way they cheated with that rear wing, how oh, they got away with that. Oh man. The almost uh, Ferrari uh, uh, like. <laughs> There's a great video on YouTube of a guy driving one of those Capris in a modern, um, you know, classic race. All right, race. I'm gonna so the, take the, the my break a little bit early. I'll be right back. Boost gauge every lap. Yeah. It's, cool. it's like really it's... good. Like, it sounds like a That's... beast. That's a video yes. of a Division 2 uh, Capri with a 1.4 liter engine that is actually uh, Klaus Ludwig's personal own car. Uh, he purchased that car. Uh, was racing in the, what's, uh, 80 season? Was, or was it 81? You mean the Capri? Yeah, the Capri, which he raced uh, at uh, uh, the Nürburgring uh, GP circuit in a, in a revival race. I think he has the later, the Division 1. It's the yeah, one yeah. with the uh, red uh, and black uh, livery. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, the vision. I don't know why uh, I asked to the one of the motors 
we have uh, the 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 Capria, but I don't know which division, which uh, it's how many. Division one. Yeah. It's division it's, one. Uh, yeah, yeah. I uh, when I emailed when I emailed him about the Lancia, so he replied saying, "Oh, the Lancia is division one, the one that they have in the mod." Um, and uh, later on, he emailed me and said the Capri is division one as well. So. It would be nice if they put uh, something like uh, uh, in the manual to explain uh, how to uh, uh, to sort these cars. I mean, there yeah. are also different uh, years. Yeah, we are older car with uh, newer car, so it would be nice to understand uh, how to put them together. I think Content Manager separates them out. Oh, he has something much more sinister, sinister for you today. Oh, has he? He does. Huh. All right. Definitely. Yeah, how's that engine sounding on that Porsche, Dirk? It sounds amazing, as always. That five-cylinder. <laughs> yeah, the five-cylinder. He took what? the cylinder out, Dirk. <laughs> I got the same top speed as him. Uh, fool me once, uh, shame, shame on you. Fool me, uh, <laughs> you can't fool and this RSR lifetime leaderboard <laughs> hurts oh, me Get over. in a way that you will not believe. Just, just, just let that soak in for a minute. Now, that was, it's like a properly quick time for me. Granted, that's on race pace and his on quality pace, but still, I'm disgusted. Yes. And so I'll try and be marginally closer to the time. But first, let me bin it in like four different gravel traps in my outlap. Then I'll get back to you. I literally have to hold the wheel with two hands on the straights. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise it just wobbles. Can you check the toe? Try and get some heat in this brakes. Yeah. Tires are starting to get somewhere, at least. Yeah, there we go. We got some more guys in here. All right, 14 is a good field. At least with these cars, that's that's busy enough, I think. The first race that we ran, I, I think that'll always be the best one, especially considering how well I did at Riverside when we had like 23, 24 people. That one, that was very busy, but I really enjoyed it. Traffic was not an issue, but I think that's just because a lot of the slower guys were just too afraid of these cars since the mod had only been out for a week and not many people have gotten practice. Then we'll get out there and we'll try and throw it out one or two quick ones. That's nice, breaking zones are a lot shorter now. 
without all this fuel in here and on the medium tires. Catch me up, Simon. I want to drop you up that. straight. <laughs> I actually wasn't the loose. That's mildly suicidal, that curb there. In version 2, for some reason. So that's good. Giuliano. I'm with cold tires. <laughs> yeah, be careful because you're opening the lap, man. Yep. That. Right, here we go, full turbo for the whole lap. That is something I have literally never paid attention to before, and I guess now is probably the best time to take interest in his uh, wind. Never thought about that here. doesn't cause any issues.
Not bad. Alright, we'll sh see if we can shave off half a second or a second, that'd be really nice. Then I can relax a little for the rest of qualifying, because that lap that I just did is already not too far off my... I, I think my, my potential. Seven seconds off Tarek's fastest. So I'm 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 disgusted <laughs> to say the least. I was a little ambitious there, but we made it work. Lost a little bit of time, but I think we're okay. Hopefully these tires don't drop off on me yet. Yeah, so I, I cut the first chicane there, but when I looked up at my delta, I was losing a huge amount of time. And then I just made up time in the second in the second chicane. So, I don't think that was an illegal lap. I'm, I'm going to leave that there, because that's that's as good as that's going to get for me. That's, that's a pretty good cool lap, by my standards. And if people go faster, then people go faster. Yeah, it's off to them. <laughs> I just can't do that anywhere. Yeah, I wonder what's at this under this big cover here. Uh, 
that's it. Let me do my trick. Oh, there's nothing down here. That's disappointing. Oh well, we tried. Pirate VR right there. Let's see if uh, the car has unnecessary model areas. Wow, Giuseppe's close. Okay. That's a little scary. Uh, right now, I've realized that I am on Endron's tire. Yeah, and unfortunately, <laughs> the, uh, the Valencia's or the, the Lardos, as they're called here, are just going to be that far away. Never tried how it is. Tires. Uh, they need to. They hit more. Uh, they're about the same, really, when it comes to temperature. They just last a bit. Uh, well, they only last four laps, basically. Yeah, but they, they need. Uh, same pressure of the endurance? I think so, yeah. I'm using the same pressures for both tires, so. How many laps? Last the medium? Four. Four wow. laps. Yeah. That's pretty a soft tire, the medium. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. But yeah, it's just uh, they fall away very quickly. So definitely, endurance is the way to go for the race, without a doubt. The endurance tire, because there's very little difference in uh, lap time between the two. So just peeking through the nose hole in my headset at uh, team speak. You are with the Karma, Tarik. Yes. How many? What's the max speed? Uh, well, the fastest I've got it is 335 kph. So. 335. Oh, that's. When I actually yeah. see how far off from that line. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So 202. He wears a Kamikaze bandana when he drives that car. <laughs> and just screams bonsai. Exactly. But what? Aren't you running one and one? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So he's running I'll ten kilometers an hour faster than I am. Sure. I got a tow from a Porsche down the straight, and I think I'll or see six and a bit miles an hour. Thirties, and I had to back off um, for like the last part of the. The Mulsanne. How are you doing, Giuliano? Scared. It feels great, doesn't it, as well? For sure. About a standard start. Off the now I can talk. I'm this straight. <laughs> I'm just tired, and that's a really hard thing when you're driving this car. Sorry, 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 sorry. Whip. Guys, please look behind you before you leave the pits. Yes, that was me, Derek. Sorry. Yeah. It was my last chance of a. What's your position? I have no idea. I couldn't get a fast lap in yet. Seconds behind my face. 
it's always run into traffic. I think next time uh, DRM races would be good to make the two divisions separate qualifying. Really sucks to run into traffic always. That's the thing, though. Technically, the the Lardo that some people are running is actually Division One. It's just disgustingly slow. <laughs> How this sometimes. Well, technically, actually, <clears throat> all the cars running tonight are Division One, um, but uh, yeah, I know the Lancia is a lot slower, and uh, the Capri. I don't think anyone's running the Capri, but I know there's a few Lancias about. So. Man. I know everyone running at least different tires, we haven't managed to spell the word meme. I'm sad. Just got meme, 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 meme. Oh, we got a meme, meme. It's close. Yeah, I think a lot of people have set their fast laps and they're just switching to enduro tires to, um, to get some warm and pleasant. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another super quick break and I'll finally be ready to go for the race because we might cut qualifying short for this. Oh, warm up lab or something. I don't know what's going on, so I'll just try and be here uh, earlier rather than later. You hit the carb in the, in the straight after Mutsan and you are dead. User joined your channel. <coughs> All right, sorry for having to take that second break there. Wise wolf left. Is he just not doing the race? No, he's in here. Okay. Well, we'll see if he rejoins, because I really don't want to start P2, because I'll just die. Uh, that was terrible, that one will do, I guess. Interesting. Oh, okay, good, Wolf is back. 
and target has gone faster. Jesus. Still sleepy. That's always good. I'll get out there and try and do a warm up lap. I'm just trying to get used to cold breaks and stuff. It's just gone faster. That's good. Hmm. I love it. It's kind of interesting the bumps on the curb in there. Put the most on corner. At least on the rear tires, the way it bounces up the car like that actually helps the car turn a little. And I'm absolutely not going to rely on that, because that's just terrifying. Oh, shit.
coming to the first left. It's fresh in the last chicken. <laughs> That's weird. The car feels a lot better now for some reason. But I'll take it. I'm not complaining. Stop this lap so I'll push the overtime. Ugh. Okay, time to see how this rolling search shenanigans right, will go down. Is running a, a high torque a direct wheel drive. I think we're all too poor for that. Not me. Uh, not, not me. No. Seventy minutes <laughs> with something like that with these cars. <laughs> you can really smash your arms, I think. I just want a fan attack CSW, man. CSW? Yeah. No, CSL. I mix CSL and OSW. Because this wheel is super rattly, and I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or not. I've looked it up, and it. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell based on all the different accounts I've seen. But what I have seen is every single Fanatec wheel that I've seen is just dead as silent, and I'm jealous. Also, I want a bigger wheel rim that's actually the size of a regular car's wheel rim. As well as a formula wheel. As well as the sim rig. But you know, that's how it is. Yeah, priorities. Somehow we stay ahead of Giuseppe. And to be honest, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Actually, he, he's still out there, so I kind of hope he does pip third for me. So that's one less person I have to run away from. Man, that cut in bothers me. I don't know. I feel like I've only noticed that on modded circuits, so I don't know if that is a mod thing. That's causing that audio cut in, cut out like that. Or what? Because it's been a long time since I've been sitting in the pits during a uh, vanilla default circuit. The RMT is the BMW, I would imagine. So yeah, that car is quick. I didn't realize how quick it was. Alright, we'll see if we get an announcement on how we're doing this formation rolling start stuff. Alright guys, so for the rolling start, um, at first of all, is there anyone opposed to the idea of a rolling start? or? Everyone's okay with doing it. And let me interject here, the voice you're hearing right now, Tarek, that's gonna be telling you this stuff, he's our pole, he's the guy on pole, he's the one that's gonna say, go, or whatever you're gonna say, Tarek, so I'm out. Yes. Yep, exactly. So the idea, guys, basically is that we'll do a formation lap, so we'll go off the line slow, we'll just drive slowly across, you know, for the lap, and it'll just give Give us a chance to warm up the brakes warm up the tires because these cars are impossible to drive with cold brakes and tires just especially going into the dunlop chicane you know the first chicane at the start of the lap could lead to a complete disaster with cold tires and brakes um i've gone off a few times at that chicane um because of that so the idea is we'll just do a formation lap we'll all go slow now, you can weave and do everything you want to do to warm up your tires. Just, of course, be aware of the cars around you. Don't hit your brakes hard. I mean, I would recommend dragging the brakes, so keep the throttle, full throttle, and just lightly pressing the brakes. That can, you know, heat up the brakes a little bit, get some temperature. So that way it's not a sudden stopping motion. Um, so do all of that as much as you like. Um, we'll actually try and do it a bit like they do in the real in the real Le Mans. We'll do every you know go as much you know like I said weave as much as you like warm up your brakes as much as you like. But once we uh, go through the Porsche curves, 
you know, the right, left, left, right, left section at the end of the lap, uh, basically before the chicanes and the pit entry, will try and form or will form a double file, basically a double file uh, through the chicanes and leading onto the straight. So we'll drop your speed, don't weave, don't warm up, you know, don't do any crazy movements. So basically just follow the car in front of you. You know, if you, wherever you are on the grid. Are we doing single line or double file? We can, we can uh, do double file. We'll do double file. If we just, I'll drop the speed down to about 100 kph, maybe actually 80 even. We'll go down to 80 before the, set, the, the chicanes, basically. So if we hold that speed, um, that way... No, we it's always going to get some tire heat. So oh, well. up until that point, uh, you know, yeah, you can go single file if you want to use the width of the track to warm up your tires and everything. Um, but once we go through the Porsche curves, then we should all start lining up. I'm going, I will slow down myself um, to 80 kilometers an hour. And we'll go through the chicanes, double file. And once I cross the finish line, I'll shout out on Team Speak green flag, and that's when you go for it, basically. So if we're all just a little bit, you know, just be a bit careful and wary of the guys around you and just keep an eye on the car in front of you wherever you are on the grid just remember who that is and just follow them until the end of the lap um, so once we go through the Porsche curves I'll announce again on TeamSpeak saying let's form up basically and uh, so yeah the idea then is that we go into we either if you're starting on the left side of the grid stay to the left side of the track if you're starting on the right side of the grid stay on the right side of the track. So, is that all okay with everyone? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Clear. Okay. What if somebody does a Grosjean uh, when we're out here on track and throws it off? Uh, do they go to the back of the pack or are they allowed to come back up to their position? They're allowed to come back up to their position so long, okay. as, it's bef so long as it's before the, uh, the, the last chicanes. So okay. if you spin off in the Porsche curves, you know, because then it'll be too risky because it'll be a crowd of cars around. And yeah. Yeah. You know? So yeah, just be just be careful, guys. These cars have a lot of power, as you know. Um, so just yeah, be careful. Warm up your cars as much as you like, and we're gonna be going. We're not gonna go racing speed off the line when we start the formation lap. I'll kind of pull off slow, build up a bit of speed, of course, get a chance to. You know, um, weave a bit to get the tires warm, and uh, like I said, if you want to warm up your brakes, try to do it while you still have the throttle on. That's way the guy behind you does it like, oh, you know, and then bang, just you know, it bangs into the back of you. So just drag the brakes a little bit. Um, you know, oh, Tark, let me say something right quick. Yes. Something real quick. Do mm -hmm. we have jump start enabled? Yes. All right, so guys, there's no point in panicking with the lights trying to cut it real close. Let yep. the lights go out, then we'll take off. Because if you jump start, you're going to have to do a drive through, and that's going to suck. Okay, yep. now I'll leave you alone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, yeah, good point, Bobby. Very good point. Yeah. So yeah, there's no rush off the line now. You know, so just you know, we'll take off slow, and that's it. So make sure you have your strategies down for your. There is a mandatory pit stop, so. <laughs> Uh, make sure to have all your strategies and fuel set up your tires and uh, I recommend the endurance tires myself mediums don't last so uh, I would definitely recommend yeah going with endurance tires and good luck guys hopefully we can have a good one and yep, yeah, have so fun. Don't, uh, yeah don't worry I'll I'll come again on team speak to say uh, you know form up when we need to form up and then I'll shut the, you know, green flag and all that, so... Good luck. Keep, keep the channel free in the formation lap so we can hear yes. Tarik giving the green yes. flag. Exactly. Yep. Dude, your Porsche is shaking. Are you scared? Are you burning with anticipation? <laughs> I'm scared, yeah.
I'm like afraid to warm up the tires on this thing. Cars is the best today. <laughs> so is the brake heating heat the tires? No, no. Oh, Thomas. Oh. Yeah, there is a oh yes! Down. I knew I was gonna do that at some there point. Bro, yes, yes, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what happened? He tried to turn right. I just weaved too much. <laughs> Not used to this. Going yeah, we didn't have to do really anything. Eh? Yeah, a little bit. That's a little bit. Oh, I, I, I got some tire heat. I don't know about you guys. Oh. Giuseppe kind of got a bit loose. <laughs> I was so close. Is the fuel tank full gives you more stability. Yeah. Look at those fat ass. Yeah, it looks like Kim Kardashian, doesn't it? How come Dirk's in front of us, buddy? Because he has done something to my setup to uh, jinx me. The Ferrari from behind is fantastic. Four uh, exhaust yeah. pipes. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'm with the Ferrari behind there just so I can pass it. <laughs> oh, you won't be able to. <laughs> that red Ferrari looks so good. Oh, no. Almost. No braking lights on these cars, guys. Porsche has braking lights, but probably on the Ferrari I'm probably not quite nice. I wish I had some sort of brake temperature gauge. words coming from a Volkswagen driver. <laughs> Oh, I 
works, does it? Dark has mine. Yeah, until it grows on it again. This is really organized, actually. I should have taken a volume before the race. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. Green, green, green. Okay, that's the scary part done. Yeah, we'll uh, crank the turbo for this lap, um, but I won't use it terribly often. Just using it now because we're still pretty bunched up and just said it's close, so. Yeah, if Giuseppe takes it, I'll, I'll let him have it.
A little bit of poo came out there. That was mildly terrifying. But I knew I had to keep my foot somewhat in it. I saw that one coming. I just wasn't gonna move. There's no yellow flag on this, huh? Yeah, there was one. Appreciate it. Patrick can't crash.
Yeah, sorry, usually I, I try and provide some sort of some sort of commentary, but I'm just trying to focus so hard. Especially considering I'm feeling pretty low on energy today, so I don't, I don't have that much uh, concentration to spare, so to speak. But that's both Giuseppe and uh, Wolf um, making some kind of mistake and losing a bunch of time behind me, so I think I am faster than Dirk on raw pace, so until those two catch up again, um, <coughs> then I should be okay, and, and right as I say that, Luis gets ahead of Dirk, so we'll see how quick he is. I, I didn't pay that much attention to the qualifying order behind Giuseppe. But I'll just try and go as quick as I can and just be smart about when I use my 100% turbo. That turn always amazes me in the braking. That's a good one, Dirk. In the braking zone, because I always think that, uh, there's no way I can slow down in time, and then I throw it into first, then it slows right down, and I make the corner perfectly. Really satisfying. That's nice, though. Love to see the replay. Oh, stop spitting flames, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to send your eyebrows. I can only hope that uh, I can stay consistent over the life of these tires, but we'll see what happens. transmission damage. It's so weird, I feel like on quite a few turns, if you go wide, and even in some places on the straight, if you go wide, it invalidates your lap, even though on the straights, the guy said that he removed the uh, the cut zones from either side of the circuit where I am right now to encourage, you know, people going nuts and going four wide and all that. But then on other turns, like Tete Rouge and uh, the Four Chicanes, if you cut on the inside of the track, it's still a bad lap. It really confuses me. I'm trying not to abuse that, but since Tetraruge has the, the very slight crest right before it um, in the braking zone, it's it's more or less a blind apex to me. And so I, I can never always nail it quite right. Yep, and I've uh, made up two seconds on Luis, but Giuseppe's caught up, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to keep going.
Sounds like Turks made a mistake there. But he's just so much quicker that he's gonna have to make a mistake like that every lap for me to stay anywhere near him. So I'm just gonna try and do a Sebastian, keep your head down, that kind of thing. Yeah, these cars feel pretty sketchy, but I feel like if I'm not trying to absolutely wring everything out of it all the time, and if everything's up to temperature and all warmed up correctly, these cars are actually pretty sweet to drive. Still difficult and terrifying, but they're nice. That break at Mutsan was really scary. That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Hell yeah, it was! <laughs> Impressive how fast these cars can go, actually. Oops. That uh, was not good. I'm gonna run the turbo uh, up to about 190 miles an hour, trying to make up for it. Yeah, and Luis is catching as a result. That was that was sloppy. Could have been a lot worse, but that was sloppy. Yeah, Luis is probably not close enough to actually see me. Oh, 
I'll be back. Oh, I'm sure about that. Fought so admirably on the sun stretch. I'm telling you, get close. You're fine. Oh, I'm sorry. I saw it coming, so I, I can brace for. A bit of me. My mom just called the cell phone. <laughs> I had to look. I was like, oh fuck. Alright, let's see if I can use those struts like last time. Let him buy really fast and then immediately try and catch him again. No way! No way! Sorry, I mean, alright. I lived. Man, that's real sketchy. <laughs> Well, that sucks a lot. It's my time to pursue you. <laughs>
just the three of us back here. In our own little class. <laughs> I don't know how I completely missed it. Because I, I hit my marks and the car just didn't respond. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I realize I shouldn't have waited for Luis, because I think it was on him, since he didn't re-enter the track safely since I was coming. Make that turn the same way every time. And it just didn't do it. I was so happy with the way this race is going, I don't even know what position I'm in anymore. Derek is still up ahead of Wolf. Sorry, Wolf, I guess it is. A red Ferrari chasing a red Porsche. Yeah. Oh, Not the line. My tires haven't really gone off, so I don't know why I'm just going wide there every turn. <sighs> I gotta keep running this turbo, but I'm gonna have to stop eventually. Get my ankle a little scratch. É a doida de baixo, alguma coisa que eu faço aqui faz barulho lá embaixo, mas não tem nada a ver com isso. Não posso fazer nada. Inglês, please.
Nice one, Bobby. Thanks. Didn't make to push it that hard there. Oh, sorry about the Portuguese guys. I was just talking to someone else here. that one close enough. Yeah, I think somewhere my tires lost a bunch of life and now I'm understeering everywhere. Is that a German sign post I just passed? Uh, I messed it up. Happens the second time for me. Porsche has really shitty brakes, and uh, if you're hunting somebody, that first brakes just a touch earlier than you, you have no chance. You can either grant it or avoid it. But yeah. There we go. Took it a little easy in there. Okay, back into P3. Thankfully. I feel like I can breathe again, except I'm way too close to the guys behind me. I, I should be 10 seconds ahead of these guys. And I'm really not looking forward to encountering Luis again. Oh yeah, he's giving up after you bend in there. Thing those guys up front, they're really hard on themselves. Yeah. Oh yeah, engine is orange. I'm done with the turbo. I'm not touching that anymore. If if that loses me spots, then it loses me spots. I'm not blowing my engine and crashing into a wall. <laughs> it's just one. But I, I feel like I've done nothing wrong in the actual race, so there's that. Simon's just bought me time, but going wide. And little son. Alright, I'm just gonna <laughs> do it once again. Keep my head down. Get on some quick laps. Not worry about anyone else. This car is turning in like a bit of punch in there. Is it? Yeah, I have to break earlier there. This tire's just gone.
flag, Simon. Car in the track. Yep. when you start to get the Wow. All right, engine's gone. See you boys. Engine blue? Yep. Getting oh. a little too happy on the on the hill tone. I hate to hear that. I might just call it there honestly. That race is you are getting worse and worse. No, in the 308. You racing tomorrow? I don't think so. Alright, well, I'll see you this week sometime. Yeah, probably on Tuesday. Alright, man, see ya. Yep. User joined your channel. Disconnected. Alright, I'm not gonna keep going. That was just. That race just kept getting worse and worse and worse. So. I feel like the only mistakes I made were just over revving on downshifts and Louis caused me multiple problems there and cost me ended up maybe a total of 15 seconds or something with the bump from behind and shunting me into the wall and then making me wait for him because he just spun in front of me. So, I don't know. That was that was a sloppy race overall, but I, I just don't want to follow through with that one for another half an hour. I just can't do it. So, sorry about that. That's just disappointing all around. But... Um, I'll probably be back on Tuesday, just like I just said to Bobby. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you then. See ya.